Mikowski from Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the vibes for the week. We have an amazing week ahead of us. On Sunday, the Moon, Mars, and Neptune form a T-square. The Virgo Moon is the good fairy in this lineup, where Neptune wants to do its own thing, and then there's Mars. As long as we keep a good head about us, know what is fact and what is fiction, we can have fun with these energies before summer comes to an end. And on Monday, we welcome in the autumn equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. There is a balance on that day where the hours of day and night are equal, and then the days start to become shorter. The sun moves into Libra on Wednesday the 23rd. So happy birthday to all those born under this sign. An air sign, the seventh sign in the zodiac, where we start to focus on others. So partnerships with people and situations are important. And Venus is your ruling planet. You bless us with beauty in every area of our lives. Um, you shine when you're creating. Libras are amazing negotiators, mediators, and advocators for balance and justice. And the tarot card associated with Libra is the justice card. And in this deck, Tarot of the Zirkus Magi, it's called adjustment. There's a balance and clarity of mind. Um, do we need to make any adjustments to bring balance to a situation? And then the archangel associated with Libra is Jophiel, helping to attract positive thoughts, bringing our inner beauty out, and often referred to as the feng shui angel. And then on Wednesday, September 24th, we have the new Libra moon, which puts an emphasis on harmony and balance in all parts of our lives. So new starts and time to make our new moon wishes. And for the reading this week, I'm using the amazing Terror of the Zirkus Magi by Douglas Thornja. It just came in the mail and I've had some powerful readings in the last day with this. The first part of the week, the Four of Batons. And it's the suit of fire and creativity and it's called community in this deck. Often the circus is a family tradition. Um, if not blood relatives, everyone becomes family. And in this car, the circus, everyone's coming together to celebrate the opening and welcomes you. The clowns are here and there's excitement in the air. And so we're welcoming in a new season and participating in community events and festivals. We all work together to make it special. And a community is a family. And this card has special meaning for me because I'm reading and doing chakra balancing at a weekend festival. It reminds me that we all have different parts that we can play and work together to welcome those that stop by, making it a community and family event and fun. And then midweek, the energy, the seer, the high priestess comes up. And she's a keeper of the mysteries. And atop the card, it's called the Temple of Knowledge. With our dark moon and the new moon arriving, on Wednesday, this seer is asking us to go within. In the stillness, we find the answers. So what are we seeking to find during this lunation? Trust our intuition, spend time in meditation, and also in dreams. We can bring things from our unconscious to um, the light to find our way. And it can be fun to design a tarot spread for the new moon. A seer spread and see what comes up. And the energy for the end of the week is the Ten of Buckets or Cups. And in this deck, it's called the Straw House. And Doug mentions that in the circus, um, that expression means a full house, a sellout crowd. But this is a family of performers pictured in the card. And maybe they're taking a bow. The crowd is in the stands. And I love that the elephant is shown caring for the infant, pushing the pram. And elephants all are about caring and compassion. There's a feeling of happiness and love. This is my gratitude card for, in this deck. That's the feeling we have when we practice meta meditation, loving kindness meditation, saying, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be safe, may I be peaceful and at ease. And then, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be safe, may you be peaceful and at ease. And also, tens are about completion. Um, so, you know, as we're celebrating um, what has been, summer's over, the wheel's turning, another season's upon us. Just like the circus, 
they celebrate their successes and then they begin in happiness and then they begin again. So what sweetness did this season bring to us? And what things and people in our life are we grateful for? And the rune for this week came from Mary Nail's rune deck. Nadas, need or want. It's associated with the beech tree, color is black, and the herb is historic, and the gemstone is lapis lazuli. This message is perseverance and patience, especially in difficult situations. It may not seem that we're getting what we want, but in fact, will be ultimately benefited by this lesson. And the feng shui tip for this week is we've gone around the Bagua map and last week we were in the east. Now we go to the southeast and that's the prosperity and abundance area. Its element is wood and water nourishes wood. And the colors for this Bagua are brown and green and also red and purple can nourish this area but in small quantities. And some of the symbols um, for this area are abundance of uh, fish, aquariums, crystals that are good for this area, or a citrine, um, pyrite, fountains and water are symbols of abundance, and flow, the laughing Buddha, a good luck, abundance and success, and the gold dragon turtle. I love this one. It's a classic abundance attractor. It has the head of a dragon, the body of a turtle, and it's standing on a bed of coins or ingots and holds a coin in his mouth and a baby dragon or turtle on his back. And the energy of the dragon brings good luck associated with courage and it's a very powerful symbol. And the turtle brings protection and stability. So we can have fun with some of the things we put around and to nourish this bagua. So if you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to click on the like and subscribe button. And I've also included a transcript of the video in the about section along with the link to the Tarot of the Zirkus Maji Mary Nails Rune Deck and a link to my website, MaggieMoonTarot.com, where you can contact me or schedule a reading. So, until we meet again next week, believe in miracles, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, be kind, support each other. Namaste.